In today's video, I'm going to give you a quick way that you can stop escape artists in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. What my YouTube channel does is it basically helps you get better at Madden, and I believe as I get better at Madden, I can then help you guys get better, and subsequently, you will help me get better at Madden. So I want to give you this quick tip. Now, this is a tip that I use when I'm facing um, escape artist QBs, and actually, I need to go ahead and flip the sides and change my controllers real quick, but... All of us have faced all of us have faced escape artist QBs in the past, right? And one of the things that's really difficult about those escape artist quarterbacks is how effective they are at rolling out of the pocket. Now, there's some subtle ways that you can kind of do um, damage to the escape artist quarterback, but one of the big tricks to stopping someone like a Patrick Mahomes or Russell Wilson or Lamar Jackson is trying to identify, number one, what is it that they're actually trying to accomplish and where are they going to roll out to? So, for example, um, one of one of the most popular p things that people do is they like to roll out from a compressed set and they like to throw corner routes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick tip today, and it's out of the dime 236 will. You can also do this out of 146. You can actually do this out of multiple different defenses, but... It's best if you do it out of the dime 236 or the dime 146. And the reason is because basically what you want to do is you want to force them to roll to the opposite side of the field that they want to roll out from. So, for example, if they're a right handed quarterback, you want to force them to roll to the left. And if they're a left handed quarterback, you want to force them to have to roll out to the right. And it's very simple in how you do this. But basically, what you want to do is you want to come out and dime 236 will and you want to come out and play D. DB fire too. Now, since Patrick Mahomes is right-handed, I want to try to force him to roll to the left side of the formation. So what I like to do out of this DB fire two play is I like to base a line, I like to shade coverage over top, and I like to spread my linebackers. From there, I'm going to slide these two corners in off the edge. I'm going to QB contain. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up kind of a, a hybrid zone coverage. So I'm going to take Fred Warner and I'm going to throw him into a deep third. I'm going to then take Williams and I'm going to throw him into a vert hook. I'm going to take Nick Bosa and I'm going to put him in a quarterback spy. Now, you don't have to do, again, you don't have to do it just like this, but the basic concept. And then I'm going to take Buckner and I'm going to leave him on a blitz. And if I really want to play a little bit more max coverage, I'm going to put him on a bluff blitz like this, a three rack. Then I'm going to user this guy right here, Quan Alexander. I'm going to pass commit and Quan Alexander is my user. Now, let me show you what happens at the snap of the ball. So I snap the ball, you see that we get that right edge pressure off the edge, as you can see right there. Now, there's things that your opponent is going to do to basically try to alleviate that. Essentially, what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to block the running back, and they're going to try to basically create a cut block scenario. And essentially, how that's going to happen is they're going to basically double team this defensive end, and then they're going to ID the blitzer that you're going to send, which is in this, in this scenario is going to be a right edge pressure. So let me show you how this play is going to work out against something like that. So again, base a line, spread your linebackers, QB contain rush, and then you just slide the DBs off the edge with Williams. When we slide him in off the edge, we're going to put him in a vert hook and Reed, we're going to keep him on a blitz. Then we're going to take Warner, and you don't have to do all these zone back end adjustments. It just helps in my opinion, but we're going to take Warner and we're going to put him on a deep blue. And then we're going to take uh, Buckner. I like to put him on a bluff blitz. And then Bosa, I like to put him on the quarterback spy. The only real critical thing is that you have a quarterback spy in, com in combination with a quarterback contain. Okay? So, but, but I believe that it's going to help you a lot to run your pass defense like this. If you know they're going to pass, this is a really, really effective defense. And again, you're free to do whatever with your user. Now, you're going to see here at the snap of the ball, I'm going to roll out right. But you see how Nick Bosa is coming with me? So if I try to run with my quarterback, it's not really an option. Now, what's really cool, though, that you can also do off of this, if they're doing that little cut block trick, what I like to recommend is I like to blitz the opposite side of the running back. So, for example, if they if they run, if they bring the running back and they say, I'm going to block him, and they're going to motion him over here because they want him to pick up that edge guy on that side, what I like to do is a simple, simple little trick here. But basically, I'm going to flip the blitz, right? So again, I'm going to base a line. I'm going to spread my linebackers. 
I'm going to QB contain, and then I'm going to slide these guys off the edge. Now with Reed, what I'm going to do with him is I'm going to put him in a vertical hook. Okay, I'm going to leave the blitz set up here. I'm then going to take Buckner, and I'm going to put him on a bluff blitz. Ford is going to be on a QB spy. Warner's going on that deep blue zone. And now I know that my responsibility as the user is to basically take away anything on the right side of the field. At the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is you're going to see we're going to get a little bit of pressure. It's going to cause me to roll out. Roll out. I'm sorry. It's going to cause me to roll out with my quarterback. Once they start to roll out, that's when you're going to send the spy. And it's very, very simple to send the spy. All you have to do is click the right stick in. Basically, the right joystick, you're just going to click it, and that's what's going to send that spy in. So again, base align, QB contain. Whichever side the running back's not on, that's probably this, the running back is on, that's probably the side they're going to roll out because that's the side that they're going to be able to pick up that cut block, especially if they are doing that, if they're blocking the running back, right? So if someone does that, I mean, that's kind of the tell. So I'm going to set my pressure up. And then I'm going to play that bluff blitz, that QB spy, vertical hook, deep blue. So now this is what the play looks like. Make sure you pass commit. And then at the snap of the ball, and it's going to be difficult to show you this, but at the snap of the ball, if he rolls out, I can click the right stick in and I can send the spy, as you can see right there. So essentially what you want to do is kind of be monitoring with your user as you're playing with your user guy. Like if I'm running around with Quan Alexander and I see Mahomes get outside of the pocket basically if he gets outside of where the tackles are then i'm going to send the spy i'm going to click right stick and send the spy every time now for those of you that don't want that much setup i'm glad that you stick around because i want to give you one more very simple very very simple defense that you can use and this is if again this is if they are doing a lot of escape artist type stuff roll out corners again i want to keep it very simple for you guys so I like the dime two three six will the most, right? But basically, all you got to do is come out in the play Tampa two, okay? Come out in the play Tampa two, and then they can come out in any play that they want, whatever it is, whichever side they want that guy to the bunch side. But again, they're gonna try. They're they're more than likely gonna try to roll out to the right. So what I like to do is I like to QB contain rush, right? And that's gonna put these guys on outside blitzing angles, right? And then I like to, if you don't want to, you know, I like to move the guys in because it makes them think that they're going to get pressured, right? So they're going to try to be pick up pressure and do some different things. But all you have to do is take Fred Warner and QB spy him. What I actually really like to do is take Fred Warner and throw him in a deep blue. And then I'll take um, Reed and I'll put him in a quarterback spy. That's all you have to do. And then what's going to happen is with your user defender, you're going to kind of user the middle of the field. But you'll see here, Mahomes is going to try to roll out, and I just see those contains are going to kind of hang with him, right? They're going to kind of hang with him. And then what's going to happen is, let me show you this one more time. So base align, I like to spy read, and then run just a basic um, QB contain, and then I'm just lever I'm just using the middle of the field. What's going to have to happen is he's going to try. Oh, I can't do that. So he's going to step up, and you see how the spy is going to be with him. And obviously, I ran into the spy, but if he rolls out, you just click right stick. It's going to work for you. So that is a little bit about how to stop escape artist quarterbacks. If you have more issues with that, I just want you to leave those in the comments. What are some of the issues you've had with escape artist quarterbacks this year? Again, kind of can, with people who like to roll out, what I like to do is I like to force them to have to stay in the pocket. And then what's going to happen is they're going to have to make a read. You know, it's not always smart to blitz seven every play, right? You want to kind of tactfully do it. You want to send seven sometimes, then you want to send three, and then you want to send four, then you want to send five, or whatever. So hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit subscribe so that way you can get more of my Madden 20 and Madden 21 videos. And I also want to encourage you to join the Discord server. We just started it up trying to get that over a hundred users so be able to join the discord that's where you can one-on-one -on -one chat with me you can talk to people from our channel and we can kind of share ideas and different things like that